Alright guys, welcome to my channel. In this video, we'll be deploying this application to AWS EC2. This is in React.js and the backend is in Node.js. But firstly, let's create the EC2 instance. Uh, let's select key pair name here and allow HTTP traffic. We're also going to install Node.js and the Apache server using this script. Let's rename this one to front end. Let's create another instance. This the this one will be the, for the backend. So we're going to use the same configuration. We don't have to do anything here. Uh, just click cancel, cancel here, and select the key pair here and launch the instance. Let's look at the instances. Uh, the one is running and the other one is pending. Let's rename the other one, then the new one to backend. Now we have to SSH into the instance and clone the repo that we're going to use in this demo. This is the front end. Let's search into the front end instance. Now let's load the repo. We're going to do the same thing on the back end instance as well. We will clone the repo and in the front end, we're going to CD into the front end package. This is where our React application is in. Then we do the same thing on the other side. We're going to CD into the backend application and install the run npm install. Okay, we also need to install uh, PM2, which we're going to use to run the Node.js application. Okay, we need to run this as a root user and let's use uh, sudo to install PM2. Okay, it is installed. Let's also need to edit the environment variable that we're going to use to connect to our database. I'm uh, going to add the database name, password and username here. Right, uh, on the front end side, we need to change the the, uh, the backend URL, we're going to copy the IP address of the backend instance and paste it in the API URL. Okay, now let's build, let's run npm run build and build the front end application. Just start the Node.js application here, by running any uh, PM2 start, and passing the environment, the configuration for our, for our environment. Now, for the backend, we need to also add a proxy configuration so that we can be able to access the application using the the uh, IP address of the instance. So we're going to paste the the configuration here and save the file. Okay, uh, that is done. We need to restart the server. OK, 
and on the front end side we need to move the the build that we, we we created earlier to the HTML directory. All right, let's see if we can access the application using the IP address of the front end instance. Okay, the application is running. Uh, let's sign in. Right, everything is working fine. Let's refresh. Now we can see the tasks by the specific user. We can also see the reminders here as well. We have managed to deploy the Node.js application and the backend application. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to my channel.